Powers, Frick Prairie Dawn, and Zoe and many other characters, Fran Brill. <laughs> had been like a, an acting company, a repertory company, Jack, uh, Jerry really would have been the backbone of it. Um, he really was the go-to key character actor. Um, he had an amazingly flexible voice and vocal cords and he could create characters really instantly. <coughs> uh, many of what the Muppets called anything puppets became prominent characters once Jerry got a hold of them. He gave them not only a voice, but a soul. So many of them on Sesame Street. Sherlock Hemlock, Fred the Wonder Horse, Herbert Birdsfoot, the grumpy customer, Mr. Johnson, we just saw. Too many of them to count. And of course, speaking of counting, the singular count. He imbued all his characters with compassion, intelligence, and more than a little whimsy. Years ago, Jerry was performing uh, a somewhat gruff construction worker named Biff, and I think we just saw a little bit of him there. And uh, one of the characters that I was performing at the time was a little girl called Roxy Marie. And somewhere along the way, it was decided that Roxy Marie was um, Biff's niece. And um, I really loved that relationship. Biff's education was somewhat limited, and Roxy Marie was a bookish little girl who excelled at science and math. And when counting was required, Biff's math was a little shaky, and so Roxy Marie would come to her uncle's aid very gently. Um, you could tell that Biff was very proud of her, and Roxy would never um, hurt her uncle Biff's feelings. Jerry, I thought, was a little bit like Biff in that he was sometimes crusty on the outside, but melted butter on the inside. <laughs> there was so much more to Jerry than his unbelievably versatile singing voice and his ability to create indelible characters. He had an entire other life on his beloved Cape Cod. He had tons of friends and musicians who he sang and played music with. Many of them never even knew until well into the relationship that Jerry was in any way involved with the Muppets. He probably could have had a very rewarding career and life just by being a musician. He also was a fervent environmentalist, campaigning against monolithic companies who poisoned the earth or threatened natural habitats. I already miss the avalanche of emails asking me and many others to sign this petition or that, to boycott companies that promoted genetically modified foods, and to support this social cause or that. I am consoled by thinking that a large, exciting, fulfilling life was the life that Jerry led, but he will be missed. <laughs> 